home base is done. As you can see, let me just uh, turn it around, I'll show you. We've got our living accommodation right here. Beautiful. Rods are out. And set the scene. To show you guys what bait I'm working with. So, for ground bait, um, I've basically made my own, so it's just breadcrumb, put or well, bread, put in a blender, alongside some boilies. Now you've got some um, pink boilies which are prawn, and then you've got some bloodworm boilies also crushed in there, alongside a few bits of frozen sweet corn. So that's what we use for sort of ground bait and put it on the feeder, and then for hook baits, I've got some lunch of meat that I've soaked in uh, some liquid additive which is like a blood worm one so that's been soaking overnight and then in here I've got some little PVA bags made up to go onto the hook and then I've also got next to me I've got some robin red pellets some the krill boilies and then I've got some tiny little pink prawn boilies so that's what I'm working with bait wise. Let's hope that catches them in the bite. Just been having some issues with my right hand rod. For some reason, the drag on it is not working properly I've just taken it apart tightened up the little bolt inside it um, but like when I pull the drag it's not like setting correctly so I'm probably gonna have to look you know do a few little tweaks to that but I've had a few little tweaky bites on this rod and this one is just down under this tree here and then this rod here is out just around there so yeah, we'll see. We'll see what comes our way. I've only been here for about 20 minutes, so yeah, we'll give it a go. I'm feeling lucky. Come on, guys. I don't know what could be. Seems a little bit breamy to me. Actually, I'm not too sure. Let's pull in. It could be a. Oh no, it's a carp. It's a common carp. Oh, it's a little carp. Get one there. Fighting hard. <laughs> oh, he's pulling. in whoo beautiful right I'll just set the big camera up and I will show you guys right, so we've been here about an hour and threw a little bit of uh, krill boilie on there just to see how it helps do and as you can see let's wait for the calm down we've got ourselves a beautiful con carp probably about sort of six pound something like that maybe beautiful markings on him lovely orange tail yeah dead chuff for that let's get him back in the water so these are the boilies that just caught me that carp uh, they're 12 millimeter sticky the krill flavored 
I'll just get them out and I shall show you what they look like. So, as you can see, a little brown natural looking boilie. 12mm on the hair rig. And that just caught me that lovely carp. Little fish on, little bream. There you go, guys. Nice little snot monster. <laughs> there he is. Let's get him back in the water. As you can see, this is a gorgeous place to be. Just full of trees, nice and sheltered. Just show you the next swim along. Plenty of space in the swims to set up a little bivvy. Unfortunately, no night fishing on this lake, guys, but they do have a night lake further down. I'll just show you the right hand swim. See over here, look. Really windy, sorry about that guys. Absolutely gorgeous. Toilets over there. Seems to be like a fallen tree in the water there. Probably a nice little feature. Snag city I should think. But yeah, this is where I'm set up. Wait for Mr. Carp to come along. So while I'm sitting here waiting for a bite, I thought we could do a little bit of uh, interaction. So tell me what your personal best carp is. So I want the type of carp it is, and I also want the size. So my personal best is a 17 pound common carp. And I caught that probably about five years ago. And I'm yet to beat that, so hopefully, one day I'll be able to beat that. Um, the lake I'm fishing on right now has a ghost carp at just over 30 pounds. So if I was to catch that today, bam, one happy boy. So yep, yeah, comment down below what your personal best is guys. And yeah. As you can see, Another nice size snotty. Get him back. Right, I didn't get the take on this one or the fight, but, and it's not a big fish, but boy was he a little fighter. Nice little uh, carp, little uh, common carp. Small but scrappy. Nice, we'll put him back. I think I'm breamed out guys. So many of them. Ream number a thousand. Okay guys, onto a really, really good fish now. Really good fish. He's just taking line. God, this is probably biggest fish I've probably ever had. <laughs> it feels like it. <laughs> There's no way I'm getting this in. No way in hell. No way in hell am I getting this fish in.
personal best fish, 100%, 100%. So guys, hard work pays off in the end. It's an absolute mega chunk. Oh my God, he's heavy. Of a fish. The size of him. Now that is a good way of closing this session. Absolutely amazing. What a result. So guys, not quite personal best, but amazing still all the same. So thank you again for joining me on another fishing session and I shall see you guys in the next video. See you later guys. <laughs>